I mean, he said you were going to be leaving on a stretcher. He ends up leaving on a stretcher. I mean, that, do you take any satisfaction in that? Listen, I'll, Connor said some nasty stuff that didn't make it on Embedded, and, and uh, maybe when this behind the scenes for this fight airs, you'll see him on the ground still saying some real, some real bad stuff. But even that stuff being said, I don't wish, you know, serious harm like that on nobody. The guy's got kids. Um, I want him to go home safe to his family. I pray uh, before these fights. Every time before I walk through the octagon door, I'm praying that not, not, you know, not for me to win. Not, I, I'm praying that we both get out of this safe because, you know, I know what I'm going to try to do to him. I know what he's going to try to do to me, you know. He said afterwards the rivalry's not over. Dana White was here earlier, and Dana said, you know, obviously you're going to fight for the title next, but at some point you do the rematch down the line. Do you feel like the rivalry is over? Do you feel like... No, we are going to fight again, whether it's in the octagon or on the sidewalk. You don't say the stuff he said, you know. It, the things that he did say, especially afterwards you're saying about your wife and, and that sort of nah, thing. Nah, that's... My wife's solid as a rock. I'm not worried about that. That's noise. He was saying that he was going to kill me. You don't say stuff like that, that he was going to murder me. You don't say stuff like that, you know. You don't say stuff about people's wives either, but I know that that's, you know, I know that's, that's zero chance. Uh, but there is a chance, you know, somebody could die. And you don't say that. You don't wish that on anybody, man.